Um, so Outlanders absolutely rave reviews. Over 25 million people have read the books. How was that pressure going into your first TV role? Um, well, I was absolutely ignorant of all of it, so it was it was great. Uh, you know, I think naivete was my best friend. Um, you know, it's it's just been such an incredible opportunity. I I'd obviously never done TV before, and I'd never done anything of this scale, and. Um, it's just been great. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for a better, a better first job like that. So, yeah. and now obviously there's a million things going on in the series, but within it, a lot of the fans are big into the sex scenes and they're quite intense. Did you find those quite hard to engage with? Um, no, I mean, I, I'd read the first book before we started filming, so I knew that it was going to be a part of it. Um, and my conversations with Ron before we went into it was that he was more interested in telling us, you know, this love story, but from a female perspective, and that he wasn't interested in doing your typical TV sex. And I found that really intriguing. And... Um, you know, it's it's not the most comfortable thing to do yeah. in the world, but um, everyone has sex, so you know it's it's all right to see it on TV. I think. And but. a weird segue into the fact that you got recently engaged. Congratulations! <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, I got engaged. <laughs> That's about. It. I don't know what else to tell. It was it was uh, it was just a really lovely day and. Um, it was a nice surprise and I'm very happy. Fantastic. So. And do you have a wedding date in 2018 or is that planned? Oh, no. God, no. no. I, I'm still in the process of, I don't know, I'm working until the end of June and so it's, it's not going to happen this year, but anyway. Brilliant. And then is there any other projects you're working on this year, Bar Outlanders? Um, well, we don't fin finish until the end of June, so we're just sort of looking at stuff now for for when we finish, but nothing's set in stone yet. So Great stuff. And I know you started off your acting career in DIT, so do you have any advice for... <laughs> many Good old DIT, Rath yeah. Mines. Yeah. So do you have any advice for Irish students looking to emulate your career? Um, God, don't maybe emulate mine because it was a weird uh, detour for many years. But, um, you know, I, I just think it's good to study. It's good to live life. You know, don't be in a rush to get into the business because, you know, I didn't go back into it until I was 30. And I feel like it was only then I had the life experience and the maturity to maybe you know, handle it better or do it better. But, uh, you know, everyone has their own path and you just got to trust your instincts and trust yourself. Fantastic. And now uh, we've heard you're fluent in Irish as well, so you have a couple of fuckle for us. No, not anymore. Nilne, Leifa, Harabi. So get the, get the bug, Agam. Uh, uh, a few more words than we have. Like, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then you're looking forward to tonight, obviously. Is it, yeah. It's obviously not your first day to... Um, no, I've been to one before. Mm. Um, I couldn't come to the one last year, but... Uh, yeah, it's just really nice. You know, I, I've never actually worked in Ireland as an actor, so it's nice to meet the people in the Irish industry. You know, it's it's great. Um, I see a couple of them around the globe, but uh, it's really nice to be here. Yeah, it's great. And do you think eventually you'd like to come back to Ireland, or is that a possibility? I mean, I would love to work here. I, You know, it would be nice to come here for a couple of months and do something. Um, who knows? You never know what the future brings. <laughs> and I see you're wearing black tonight. Is that in solidarity? Um, you know, I, I wasn't sure what the women were doing tonight, but um, I just thought it would be nice to kind of continue that message throughout this the award season. And um, yeah, I thought it would just it's it's good to still keep the conversation going. Yeah. So, and a lot of the actors here so far have been saying it hasn't been as big of an issue in Ireland as it has been abroad. Have you had trouble with it in your career so far? Um, you know, I, as I said, I got into, I got back into this business uh, later on. I was like 30, but um, so I was very lucky. I, I kind of got to bypass a lot of the the pitfalls I think that happen to younger actresses. But um, you know, it's not just it's not just the sexual assault, and it, it's it's a lot of um, just the inequality. And and I think there's a great movement, the 50/50 movement, which is about getting equal pay and. You know, I think that has affected all of us. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, enjoy your night and good luck with yours. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks.